hey, I spawned with real damage. I just, you know, didn't exactly get the tier lottery. I spawned with a garbage item. I would love to reroll this build. Get a sacrificial altar. Yeah, I'm down with that too. Alright, you know. I'm just not good enough. I'm just worse. You know what? Thanks for that though. I needed that. No, don't be mad at me. Thanks. D4 in the item room, I'd be real, real happy about that. Honestly though, this run looks pretty bad already. I'm not feeling too great. Thought I might have seen a double tinted rock, but I don't think I did. Oops. I'm gonna do this first. Yep. Yeah, things look pretty okay now. Now I don't want to reroll anymore, so I'm stuck with the bad item, unfortunately. Like, this guy will get me hit. I guarantee you that. Yeah, if I get a sacrificial altar, he's toast. But, I mean, that's kind of unlikely. What's he supposed to do? He just draws aggro. Enemies attack it instead of you. Yeah, the, the real effect is that it makes enemy AI harder to deal with. So you just kind of get hit more. I'm good. Apparently chests are my friends right now. Oops. 
I've been owned. What did I forget? Pretty good too. I have a lot of things to shoot my tears now. It's just this immediate early floor. Now nah, I'm good. No, just doors for the key. Guess I may as well take this item. Oh, that's true. You can use it for top secret rooms, I guess, in secret rooms. Which I do forget about. Oh, I got owned. That's unfortunate. Better. I'm not sure if it still works, but uh, you can use it before a boss ends, or you could use it before a boss ends in order to uh, roll your devil room chance to open one, I believe. But I don't know if you can still do that. I have 1.59 shot speed. Already been here, thanks though. My goodness. Is there an actual valuable item in here? Sure wasn't. Right. That's lovely. Nah, next up is like Incubus. Then I'll have like everything that shoots my tears. Every time I get hit, it's Punching Bag's fault. Even if Punching Bag was nowhere near me. All the Lost Plus she does really is put everything in the first position. So, I mean, you know, it's just having those familiars, but they're in the first position. Freebie. Let's 
sure. No thanks. Yeah, the key should open any door that's closed to you. Ignoring devil rooms. Does it open up the Satan door in the chest? Yeah. It absolutely opens that. Cool if I got some tears up. Am I going for Mega Satan? No, probably not. I probably won't still have the key then, and I also probably won't have a build where I want to do the fight. I don't decide, like, what extra content I'm doing before a run is over, you know? I'm not gonna finish this floor. Now pick up the eternal heart? I don't want health ups. Especially since this is now a guaranteed angel room run. The less health I have, the better. Red hearts are just bad. That's something that'll be rebalanced. I doubt it. Like, I don't see why they'd change it. No, it's just that there are a lot of bonuses that only activate if you have zero or half of a red heart. The more red hearts you have, the less likely you are to get some good bonuses. Like, there are just several good items, one of which is the Polaroid, which you can get every run. The difference between this game, like, it was like that in the original, but in the original, of course, you didn't have to, um, you didn't only have 12 health. So since you only have 12 health, you manage red hearts a lot more carefully. But pretty much the only reason to have red hearts is if you plan on getting rid of them for a double room. And I know I'm not getting any double rooms. Steven's happy. I'm pretty happy too though, look. So this is just a happy squad, except that punching bag. He doesn't look too happy, but you know what? I don't care about him. What's the pill? Health up. Oh my god, the punching bag. He's ruining me.
Neat. Lucky boy. Alright, push this. Lucky foot makes gambling better. Uh, your chances on, like, the skull game go up from 33 to 50%. Uh, your slot machine wins are more consistent. I don't, I don't remember if they fixed it or not, but before you couldn't get any fortunes from the fortune teller. Uh, you only got drops. Yeah, it was better in Wrath of the Lamb, but it's not Wrath of the Lamb anymore, so... I, I don't feel like mentioning the huge nerf to it. Like, we gotta look at it for what it actually still does, you know? And it does have some useful effects, depending on what you need to do in your run. That gives me a bone heart. I can get rid of that real easily, though. I need the tears up. You know? I may as well just take it. Like, I'm gonna get the Bible and then I'll be that much closer to Bookworm. This is a uh, Caves 2, so I do wanna actually look around for the arcade since being able to get a bunch of cards or soul hearts would be cool, so. Fortune Teller would be nice. Oh, get me out of here. No, the foot didn't identify them in the original. It didn't identify pills. But like, you know, of course you're gonna use them. Whereas in this game, yeah, Virgo has that effect where it makes pills only good or neutral. But like, neutral pills are bad, so you still don't wanna use them particularly. Yes, PhD did and does make uh, sure you get more money from blood donation machines and IV bags. It adds a coin to it. Uh, but I, I don't think you can get three in this game. I'm not sure. Oops, I didn't mean to press that button. But you do always get two. Oh, did my scapegoat disappear? Sometimes that happens, and that's like cause for celebration. I mean, I don't see Virgo very often. And with how pills are, even if you use all the pills, it would be pretty hard to tell that Virgo made you always get good or neutral because neutral is just bad. So, I mean, I don't think it's that unreasonable to have not known. Ace of Diamonds. No, consistent aggro draw would still be bad. Like, punching bag is bad because of changing what enemy AI are going to do. Like, it would be a little less unpredictable, I guess, if it were consistent. But it would still be bad. Like, pretty much guarantee it. Well. 
but like just making enemy AI do other things that you don't have control over is a bad effect. A little late for this one, but hey, you know, get a couple uses out of it. Oh, I didn't get a use in there. I'm not gonna waste one. No, the item rooms in the womb is a trinket. It's the bloody crown. I'm sure you could sacrifice the punching bag, yeah. Uh, if I got the sacrificial altar right now, though, chances are it would take you know, something good. So I'm just stuck with the punching bag and I just have to hope that it despawns eventually and stays despawned. I didn't think it was coming back. I thought the button handled that one. That's my bad. Oops, I almost dodged that. Well, I could get the Bible. Should definitely get the Bible. Just knock it out of the way. That way I don't get a health up. Oh, see? There I end up with the health up. Oh, and flight. And no face. Stolen my face. Tuesday nights. For Terraria. Paul, exactly. It's just the same time, yeah, it's on the schedule. You know what, let's see if this helps me. Not really. There's also a schedule on the Twitch channel page now, since they did the new channel page thing. I set that up. All right, you get one. Nice. Well, just gotta make sure to stay low money. That's a weird secret room location. I would have never like, well, okay. That one was an implied door, I think. So I would have, I found it. It's just like, if you look at the map without knowing the room, I wouldn't expect it to be there. Wow. I don't see that every day.
No thanks. That's four buttons too. Like real big pass. Uh, okay, so finding secret rooms easily is mostly a matter of experience in this game. Basically, some rooms always have doors in certain spots. So if you have a room that doesn't have a door in a spot where it always has a door, then it's a secret room. Luckups. Give me something to use my luck on. Please. Oh, I'm looking for the top secret room, not the regular secret room. See, that's throwing me off apparently, because I'm dumb. Terminal case of the dumb. <laughs> yeah, I got money health, so I gotta go back to the shop and spend my money health. Were there any good changes in Eternal? Probably a couple. Where'd my face go? I didn't need it, so I, I shed it. Curse of the Blind. I'm going to cancel that. This is where my Godhead practice comes into play, just so you know. I should only pick up Lucky Pennies if I can help it. Paying attention to me. Wait, I have PhD, don't I? Infested. Luck up. Luck. Also, luck up. Two luck up pills. Give me a luck effect, please. Why did I come into this room once I saw that this was in fact not the correct direction? Also, why is this in fact not the correct direction? I'm just picking them up. What am I doing? I'm gonna get health. Oh, I can give you my money.
Well, get out of jail free card is just this item. Why is it here? I don't understand. I can see forever. Tears up. Eh, whatever. Haha, you can't do it. Hey, thanks for the 45. Yeah, usually the boss room is as far away from the spawn room as possible. Uh, what probably happened is there is just a top secret room at the bottom left, because that's just where it decided to generate. That was the only spot that was viable for it. So this was thus the new farthest that, like, you know, there's probably just something about each of the end rooms, basically. So this was the farthest away it could spawn. Well, I got a triangle. It just wasn't the triangle. I have five tiers now, which is pretty good. Zero tier delay. That would be interesting. Alright, I gotta play this. I gotta play this uh, for, for the win. Frick. Oh, yep, you can have them. I miss beggars that could pay out whenever they wanted. Like, they still technically can, but they won't. I know there was a tinted rock there. Yeah, today's just a soul kind of day, I guess. Thank you for helping me destroy that rock. Yeah, you can only get Godhead in the Angel Rooms. Except in Greed Mode, you can sometimes get it in the Item Room. For, you know, whatever reason.
Maybe here's my chance at luck-based stuff. Guess not. Darn. Oh, this was a luck up. I could have gotten two luck ups if I'd just known. I just didn't remember using a tears up last, so. Yeah, the thing about Dr. Fetus with sad bombs is it's still Dr. Fetus. That's what I was hoping for. Oh, that's disgusting. I'm leaving. What you're talking about, VC. It's worse than not having it in this game. Oops. That's good. You can get Godhead with this. Means I should carry it. Plenty of bombs, so I don't really mind wasting here. Oh, neat. Do you get stuck in the error room this floor? There isn't an error room. They just don't generate one. Ah, oh, nasty. Oh, that means I'm gonna have to go fight the double. Dang it. Just do it. Get it over with. Oh. All right, that wasn't so bad. Nope. Nothing. 
lot of sub gifts recently oh soul saved me from one only to leave me to die to the other Again, I used that item enough times recently. Wait, why did I do that? Oh, well. Oh, wow. That's a score. Never mind. Eh, okay. Got a tear delay. Got another tear delay. That's not God hit either. What the heck? Oh, I accidentally. Nice. Oh. I mean, that doesn't really benefit me at all. Sure, though. I'll, I'll reroll for you. Dropped a lot of things. That gave me a lot of red hearts. Uh, this build doesn't look good. But maybe I got Eden's Blessing. 